I'll show you how to do this animation here the simple animation the animation will start from the visibility of each gear watch from bottom then going up then the axle will go down and go up and the other gear will be bursting out and go back from its original position let's give credit first to the designer of this gear watch I just downloaded this from the 3D warehouse sketch app you can also download the different model you want here the designer of this is Mr. Diords. Thank you very much for your design. I'm going to use this in my tutorial. So let's get started. We need to explode this gear here and we need to make sure each gear is in a group or a component one. So let's click the icon here for animation. And this is your timeline here. And these are the tools for animation you can add new movement you just choose what animation you want here you can choose the direction here first we need to choose this from the cylinder or the axle of this gear watch so remember that the blue axis is for Z or Z so we will choose that direction that is the movement of of our cylinder here or the axle you can just type in this value press ok then let's try to play this and you will see what will happen it moves down the negative 15 it denotes that the movement will go down so this is here now in our timeline now we will add a new movement and we will do it at the lower part of the gear maybe I'll just change the view so that we can see the lower part you just click this again and choose new movement you click this icon you choose the lowest part of the gear which is this one and you choose the gear 2 which is the overall component of this gear 2 which is yellow yellow color just click yellow and you choose the from which direction it will be visible X Y or Z so ours is from bottom going up so we will choose the Z axis or Z axis the total time for this one is 2 seconds only and it will automatically go to your timeline again and then we choose another gear here which is this we choose again the yellow color so that the component attached to this gear is will be selected and you choose the Z axis again so that the visibility will start from bottom and going up we choose the time duration 2 seconds again and this will go again to your timeline you choose again the other part of the gear you add new movement you click this one new movement you click this and you choose the yellow color which is the overall component of this gear you choose the Z axis again you will choose the 2 seconds duration and oh, click this one and new movement again you just read the you can just repeat the process click this and this color now we will reduce it to one second du time duration so just change the axis here which is the Z again click this choose new movement again Now we will choose the other gear. Okay, you just repeat the process. One second, play. Okay, 
it looks nice click this again to go automatically to your timeline and now we will animate the dial which is this tree we choose the new movement one second okay click we'll go to your timeline again add another new movement for this dial you just repeat the process you just choose the Z axis and one second duration click this it will go again to your timeline click new movement again for the last dial you click this click this one choose the Z axis play it's looking good and it goes to your timeline again so I'll just change the view here to make it look nice maybe this one let's play from the start so that we will see how does it look like it looks nice I want this to be on the last part so that when all the gears are visible this will go down and go up again so for this cylinder we will make a new movement for this one we will do the same thing as what we did on the other gear we will make it uh, visible you just choose the Z axis so this will be visible from bottom going up just like that maybe two seconds it's just nice so we will click this to add on our timeline now we'll play from the start let's see how does it look like look at the axle or cylinder it appears already and once the old gear finish it will go down and I want this to go back from its original position so we need to click this and make a copy and paste it here as you can see here the arrow is pointing backward so let's try to play again but this one continues go down you need to edit the element of this you need to edit the value the previous value we put here was 15 so i'll just make it negative 10 and the other one is negative 10 you just use this value negative 10 negative 10 and click here and to go to your timeline again so let's play from here and it go back again from its original position so I want this gear to be burst and go back again to its original position so we will add new movement for this gear you click new movement and you choose the burst icon here for explosion you select the whole thing which is the blue and maybe the explosion factor maybe this much you, you can choose whatever you factor you want to choose for me i'll just choose this much only and then it will go back again to its original position maybe that one is okay 
let's play okay and you click this again to go to your timeline so I want this to go back from its original position but first we need to play how does it look like okay the gear are going up then wait for our cylinder it will go down and go back again from its original position and the other gear will burst and I want this to return from its original position so what we are so what we will do we need to copy again and paste it in our timeline right click and we will select this and you click the reverse icon here so it will go back to its original position now we're going to generate a video just click the icon here generate a video for this one and this one will pop up and what we're going to choose is this image sequence and then we will render it through Final Cut Pro choose the dimension of your video whatever you like for me I choose the 16 by 9 and the rest you can choose whatever you want and the overall frame it will produce will be 518 so click generate video so it will take much time maybe I'll fast track this and I'll get you back later so we will open the location of all the images sequence rendered and I'll show you how does it look like you just scroll down your arrow key click 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 and you can see all the images here it's moving up to 140 something 150 and so and so forth and it produced like what I said 518 images so we need to render the images sequence in Final Cut Pro follow me and I'll show you how to render the images sequence in Final Cut Pro and don't forget to share and subscribe this video thanks for watching guys bye bye